Hi guys! For the new episode of Influencers, I'm going to Zurich, Switzerland, where I'm going to meet with Julian Colli, the owner of the lovely Colli Gallery in Zurich and the advertising agency called Van Neuf de Grey in Fribourg. I will also have the pleasure to attend the exhibition of Moses and Tabs called Europa in his gallery, and together with Julian I'm going to travel to Fribourg to visit his office and question him what is the relation between his two businesses and his passion to graffiti. Let's give the word to Julian. Hi Julian. Hi Boris. How are you? Fine and you. Very good. Would you please introduce yourself to the people who don't know you? I'm Julian Colley, I'm 37 and I'm living in Switzerland. I run actually two companies, one communication agency, his name is Vingt Neuf Degrés in Fribourg and I run an art gallery specialized into graffiti and the name is Colley Gallery. What is your relation? I come from a small village and uh, to go to high school I had to take train each day. And first week I went to school, a graffiti appears on the tracks. For me it was a revelation, so it was completely amazing to see that someone took the opportunity to paint a wall mm -hmm. without permission, to write his name, to write it big. So I started to tag and to do some graffiti. Mm -hmm and I started to document myself about it and uh, I painted since uh, I was 21 mm -hmm. regularly. But all the graffiti I did were all shit, so mm -hmm. I'm really bad at it. I always had the high standard mm -hmm. and uh, I was always under the quality that uh, I wanted to reach. I had friends who were graffiti artists, so I was always good to ask for money, to build up a project, mm -hmm. to ask for a wall, to ask for sponsoring and anything, but uh, yeah, not anymore to paint. And naturally, when they ask me to organize these 20 years, it's because uh, I did this communication and I helped him with all his project uh, a few years ago. So, yeah, this process was natural and I accept it. I think that uh, the job as gallerist came naturally to me. First gallery's name was the GT29. First uh, show I ran was for my friend there. For this, I rented a space in a theater in Fribourg. It was a really big success and the director of the theater came to me and told me that uh, he will not charge me for the rent of the room, but he wants that I run his art space in his theater. So I started my first gallery like this. And uh, I accepted to do it because I would like to create a link between graffiti and my agency. After Two or three years, it started to be complicated. Mm -hmm. uh, the theater needed the space for other utilities, so I changed and I ran the space in Yvan Liban. It was really small, but uh, I was totally free to do what I want in it. In this space, uh, I started to do a show each month, and uh, it was a big success, and I ran 45 shows there. After five years, the artist I had grew up, mm -hmm. and the gallery was too small. And uh, I started to have a lot of requests about biggest painting and the artist couldn't continue to work with me because the, sp the space was really too small for them. So mm -hmm. it was a uh, good timing to change and to take a bigger, bigger space in a bigger city. Why did you choose to work with graffiti and why I, we don't see street art in Colligari? Because I like the letters. Mm -hmm. and I like uh, the fact to write a name. My vision of art is more first degree, is art for art and to reach uh, something beautiful. When I put on canvas at home, I want that each time I look at it, it gives me power and energy and uh, to turn me into a good mood. Uh, all the artists I have are things that are really more creative and mm -hmm and more strong than uh, all the just street artists. Mm -hmm. Another thing Julian, that I saw in the description on your gallery in the communication is you communicate the word graffiti, you don't uh, hide the word graffiti. I, I don't want to, to lie to, to collectors and to, mm -hmm. to people who support the gallery. I won't invent a name to define it and to make it more beautiful than it is. And I think if you are honest and you tell that it's graffiti artist, it's the best way to show them that the image that the people can have from graffiti is wrong. Mm -hmm. And uh, my job is to turn it into a good intention and to, to a good mood after that. How do you present graffiti as a good thing? 
graffiti bring a lot of creativity mm -hmm. and it brings a lot of joy mm -hmm. and it brings happiness. What about the illegal part of the graffiti? It's a part of it. You mm -hmm. have to train so it's something that uh, people start to appreciate too. And uh, I'm really happy when a collector say me or show me that uh, they discover nice graffiti during their trip or when they are able to, to see that this is a good tag, not a mm -hmm. bad tag. And uh, for me, another thing that's important is uh, my collectors buy for many reasons, but why of, one of the reasons is they support and they contribute to help the artists to continue the life they do. Mm -hmm. And people who buy now a Moses and Taps piece, mm -hmm. they know that by buying a piece, they will help them to continue to paint trains. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I like it a lot. And they really like it. Last, uh, last year, at the show with your daddy in Lausanne, mm -hmm. after the show, we went out with Tilt and we paint on the street. Mm -hmm. So Tilt was painting and collectors were so happy to, to see him painted in streets for real. It was a really amazing experience, you know. Nobody tell, no, don't do it. No, no. They were encouraging him, ah, do another, you know. It, it was like this and uh, this it's was crazy. really beautiful. It, it's crazy. You didn't have a collector who comes and who say, I really love this painting, but I really hate tax. Never no. happened. You know, mm -hmm. all these kind of people are cut off because I tell the truth. Mm -hmm. So I'm a graffiti gallery, so people who come to me, they know what they will find. You're building a relationship on trust. Yeah, sure. I also trust my artists and I let them always free mm -hmm. to do what they want. I won't tell them, okay, I need this size and I need uh, this kind of painting and these colors. No, they are, they are free to create and I let them create something they never did before. How do you choose the artist? Oh, feelings. Feelings? Feelings, yeah. What I really like and what I can really hang at home. I need to like the artist personally and I have to like his work personally. And when these two things are matching, I can start a collaboration. I always see them in person and I also went to visit their atelier, to visit them in their city and uh, I take time to to listen about what they have to to tell. How did you found about Taps and Moses? How did you build the relation and why did you choose to work with them? <laughs> so I liked what they do and I follow them since a while because I saw what they did in a magazine since a long time and mm -hmm. um, then they went out with uh, the book mm -hmm. and uh, I wanted more to show them mm -hmm. but uh, it took me so many times to get in touch with them so I had to, to ask friends to give me contacts. At first we were in a restaurant and it was many people at the table and I knew that one of people at the table were was one of one Captain of Moses yeah. and I didn't knew which yeah. one. Then I had to to prove that I really want to work with them and that mm -hmm. uh, I really like what they do. And then we were able to start collaborations. For me, it's a great honor because uh, they are really into graffiti on train and they are without compromise, you know. So they really do what they want, where they want, when they want. Mm -hmm. And you have to adapt. I like it. Mm -hmm. And uh, I like the way of their work. And, uh, they are really into graffiti spirit. It's exactly what I want to promote and what I want to show. And uh, for me, it's a great honor to have the opportunity to show them. I also let them the opportunity to do the show they wanted, mm -hmm. to, to see who they are, and uh, they also did it really well. Are you satisfied with the, with the show yesterday yeah. with the Renaissance? Yeah. Yeah. I'm satisfied with one and the most important reason is when I present to all the collectors Moses and Taps and explain that they are graffiti painter mm -hmm. and they only do trains and a lot mm -hmm. and they will not be at the Bernissage because they are kind of fugitive. Uh, they were a little bit surprised what could they do on canvas and what will they show. Mm -hmm. and. Yesterday, when they came, all of them were really positively surprised mm -hmm. with the diversity of the materials, the diversity of the concept and the quality of the paintings they made. Mm -hmm. 
and everybody found the show really good mm -hmm. and this is really important for me. So I demonstrate to them that the most hardcore graffiti printer I have in the gallery can seduce all my collectors. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit more about your, about your company, what, what are you doing in the agency? So in the agency we are doing a lot of uh, graphic design, packaging design, we are also doing web design and uh, communication, ID and strategy. And uh, yeah, actually there is six people who are working for me here in Fribourg mm -hmm. and uh, we are working for uh, international companies and uh, we are in a campaign for Switzerland. What is the link between the two companies? My customer at the agency, when they build up a campaign, they always want to, to have something really exclusive, to, to work with artists every day. So you can take artists and you can link him with the company and then you can build a unique campaign. Mm -hmm. And for example, we run uh, cigarettes with Camel and Dare and uh, now we are working with uh, Matsi and Nescafe. And what about the vice versa? How the agency helps to, to your diary? So the agency helps because uh, to all the communications, run the website, doing invitations, the catalog. Also we can help the artists to, to communicate. We can really give them good advice and uh, this service uh, I offer is also unique. Do you find the, your gallery business as a project of passion or uh, both you run as a, as a company? Both are run like a business company for mm -hmm. sure because uh, I have cost and I have to cover them on the goal of a business company is to make benefits. But the benefit I earn with the agency are going to promote the gallery and what I earn for the gallery are we invested into art projects. So for, for example, example this year I organized Swiss cheese in Paris, mm -hmm. I organized Who's Your Daddy in New York, I organized also the, the show Tribute to Dare in Basel. I also financed a part of the Rose Beton Festival because I wanted to help my friend Tilt to do the best festival ever. So, and uh, in this way, I think that uh, the good strategy is to invest all I can into the graffiti. What makes Koli Gallery different than any other gallery? People appreciate that all the canvas are created for the galleries and that uh, the quality is always really high. And they also appreciate that uh, I'm really honest uh, with collectors and with artists so that I'm not trying to to push to sell a paintings, to promise that they will double the price at the end of the year with the next auction. So mm -hmm. I will not I never tell, mm -hmm. tell this kind of thing. I never also push people to buy something. Mm -hmm. When they come at the gallery, I tell story of the show, I tell story of the artist, and I tell story of the painting. Mm -hmm. But uh, I'm not talking about price. I also think that um, maybe one of the success of the gallery is uh, I'm not just an art dealer. I'm a gallerist and an art dealer go to the atelier of the artist, choose painting he want to sell or he think he will sell, he buys them, he shows the gallery and he sells them. Mm -hmm. And he can make this with any other products. Mm -hmm. There is no difference. The job I do with the gallery is to, when I work with an artist, I go into his world and uh, I try really to understand who he is and what he want to do. And uh, when we build a show, I, I participate actively to this. What is your opinion uh, about art auctions as a yeah. gallerist? For me, I don't get the point why people are buying a painting twice the price in an auction when they can buy it for the regular price at the gallery. An auction is when you have a product, it could be anything, a car, a watch, a painting, and you will not find it anymore because production is over, uh, the seller is not produced, or the artist died. For, and now it's only left one painting, one watch, something, and you made an auction because it's the last opportunity to get it and people will fight to get it. Tell me some plans for the future. Yeah, so there is a lot of plans for the future. I want to open an academy, mm -hmm. a graffiti academy. I have to find new talents and uh, there is no galleries who is doing this job now in Switzerland. Mm -hmm. And I think 
in Europe to do it professional and regularly, there is not a lot too. So I have the responsibility to find the artist of tomorrow and to discover it, I have to test it. Mm -hmm. And uh, the goal of the Academy will to find 10 new graffiti artists, 10 new talents, mm -hmm. and to show all of them during the year and to make a jury with other artists and the collectors and to decide who will get the opportunity to get to the next step mm -hmm. and to offer them the opportunity to have uh, the first solo show of their life. So this is one of the projects. I have another project uh, to open other galleries. I have projects with pop-up show all around the world and I uh, also have uh, other hidden projects. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. And uh, what, is your, what is your ambition for, uh, for Cody Gallery? Uh, I want to be uh, the reference gallery in the world mm -hmm. about graffiti, mm -hmm. only graffiti. I want that uh, if I do a show with artists, is a standard and uh, it's always what you can find uh, best at the moment. To, to get a, a small summary of what I do is, um, I think I really do a job as a gallerist mm -hmm. and uh, I do a job to, to be really the most honest as I can with uh, the truth about uh, who are my artists and what I'm showing and uh, that as a gallerist I tell stories and I promote the artist. I'm not just selling a product mm -hmm. and uh, my job is to to make that uh, my artists can live from them from them art. Mm -hmm. That's it I think. Thank you very much Julian. You're welcome Boris. <laughs> Great conversation with Mr. Colley. I highly suggest you to visit his gallery life to be able to experience what I experienced. For more interviews of influencers, check out and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And for daily updates, you can follow me on Instagram and Snapchat President Boris. Thank you very much. See you soon.